to my car making all these noises. It's hot, but it actually feels kind of good. Like it's not super hot. It's only like 80, which for Florida is not bad. I'm heading to Michael's right now because I want to get stuff to make air dry clay. I just need like clay tools. I kept meaning to order it on Amazon, but I forgot and I want to do it today. So we're going to go to Michael's and get the supplies. I also need a giant key ring so I can put it on my bag and hang like my keys and my keychain so they're not like in my bag. So we're going to go there. I might stop at Goodwill because there's a Goodwill over there and I kind of want to see if they have any frames, but it's also it's a Saturday morning and I feel like things might get a little busy. What if I can't find the clay anywhere? That took a long time. This is all I got. I was literally walking around the store looking for key rings for like a while. Couldn't find a single one. So I got this. It was, it's like the most basic lay tool set. They didn't have a lot of other options. They're like sold out of most of them. I'm just starting anyway. So like I don't need anything crazy. And then I'm gonna order something probably on Amazon. But I'm about to go to Books A Million because I just wanna browse the books. Do I need to buy any books? No, I just wanna browse. It's literally right here. Why not? Let's go to Books A Million. I'm also kind of hungry, but I need to wait until I get home. Is there a target over here? Okay, I just left books a million and I came to Target. These glasses are so reflective. I literally ran into Target for two seconds because I had to get more of these. They were literally so good. So I got another bag of these. Also got the strawberry ones to try because I feel like these are also gonna be really good. Oh wait, they have white chocolate too? That's upsetting. I don't like white chocolate. But it's dark chocolate and white chocolate, so maybe it'll be, it'll be good. We'll see. But went to Books A Million just to browse. I did get something. I did, in fact, buy a book. I'm actually really excited for this book. It's called Quicksilver by Callie Hart. I've literally been seeing so many people talk about this, and it seems like everything that I love in a book. Honestly, I haven't heard a lot besides that it's a romanticy and that it's good which i like both of those things so i did buy it and i did in fact last night go on amazon and this book is on kindle unlimited and it is on my kindle already because i downloaded it last night but i just have like i was just like you know i don't just buy i just want to read the physical copy there's so many books i read on kindle unlimited and i'm like yes this can stay on kindle unlimited but this book i was just like i don't know something i'm just getting a feeling that i might like it and i just want to read the Copy. Also, everywhere I looked, it says it's not available until December 3rd, which I don't know if that's like a different copy. I don't know. It says it's paperback and the cover looks basically the same. So it's minus like these words at the bottom and this looks a little different. So I think it's just like maybe a different publisher or like a different something. But you literally can't order this on Amazon because it says, well, you can pre-order it, but it says arriving December 3rd. And even on booksamillion.com, it says it's only on pre-order and like you can't have like get it anywhere it even said online like it wasn't in store but i saw it in store and i was like i'm gonna buy it because i don't know if this is just like if it is in stores everywhere and you can find it or if i got lucky and it's like maybe it's the last few copies before it gets republished i don't know what's happening so i was like you know let's just get it because what if i never see it again it was 20 dollars. i actually might start this today because i've been looking for a book to get me out of this fucking reading slump and i feel like i just have a good feeling about it so i got that it was literally so nice walking around books a million for as long as i wanted to was having a great time okay i'm gonna go home now and make some lunch because i'm really hungry i have decided to eat chips and crackers chips and crackers what the fuck cheese and crackers hello i've got my snack cubes mild cheddar and my ritz crackers they're not ritz brand though they're like target brand also my leg bro look at my leg you see that it's for my bug bite and scratching my leg. Hold on. The Crow is on Amazon Prime. It's $20 to rent it, but I need to see Bill Skarsgård. I need to see him tatted. I have been wanting to see that movie, but I was, like didn't feel like going to the movie theaters. But like Bill Skarsgård, that man is so fucking sexy. I don't even care. Like I can't even talk about it because it's going to get... 
I can't, I can't even talk about it actually. We're just gonna leave it at that and I do wanna watch that movie. But for now, I'm gonna watch The Vampire Diaries again and eat my cheese and crackers. <laughs> bandana for a while but I just don't know where I put it. I was saving it for when I got a little haircut but I literally don't know where I put it. Aww. It was such a cute little fall one and I don't know where I put it. I'll find it eventually. I'm gonna do my hair really quick because if I don't straighten it I will feel crusty for a little bit so we're gonna do that. I also think I'm gonna dye my eyebrows. Not dye them, tint them. Just make them darker because my eyebrows are not very dark and I just prefer them darker this is what happens when i just braid my hair it's really not bad the issue is it will get very frizzy in like 10 minutes so my eyebrows kind of give like bleached not fully but like a little bit i also need to do my nails this fucking soap is it yeah just go buy it basically also this is the heat protected spray i use and it's empty so what do i do do i have any i have this but I don't know what I'm doing wrong. This does not work for me at all. It makes my hair frizzier. No, I don't spray it on dry hair. I spray it on literal, like, soaked hair. A lot of it. And then blow dry it out with tension and it just never works. But well, this has heat protection. So I'm gonna use this. But I've tried it so many times. And I tried it again, like, a few weeks ago. Because it has been, like, a year since I tried it. Still the same thing. What the fuck is my brush? already dry but i'm using this because it just makes it easier to straighten like that's already a lot straight straighter than this you know it makes time go a little faster Just for men, mustache, and beard to tint my eyebrows. It's dark brown. It might be a little too dark, but we're just gonna do it. I've done it a few times. I've used this one a few times now. The real issue is I'm not that great at like shaping them right, so that probably look a little funky. But it is what it is. I'm literally like dying this already because I've already used it a few times. It's just so easy to use. It only lasts like a few days, but because it's so easy to use, it's worth it. I also don't have like a brow shaping thing, which I should probably get to do this. That would probably be <coughs> the easiest method, but I'm literally gonna use this. I could use this, like it's empty, but I could just use it to like paint it on there. I'm gonna try it. Do it like I'm actually drawing my eyebrows on. It'll be a little more precise. See, I already like did a little too much. It's gonna get really dark, but it, like once you take it off, it's not really bad. I'm gonna just pull it on there. 
closer. Oh, I've made a mistake. Okay, we'll fix it. I need to get a Q-tip. I'm gonna get a few Q-tips. That's a little overlined. Okay, that's good. It gets darker, so like I'll be able to see more what I need to fix. They're definitely uneven, but I don't really know what to do about that. Oh, like I literally don't know how to make it even. It's fine. That's good enough. We're gonna let that sit for five minutes. I also downloaded that app that's like part of Pinterest. Don't remember what it's called. I think it's called like shuffle or something, but it's where you can make collages through Pinterest. And I made a little lock screen while I was watching The Vampire Diaries. It's literally so cute. I just did like a quick one. I didn't think too much. I was just like putting stuff. It's literally so cute. So I'm happy with it because I had my old one for like years. And my old one was also a collage, but it was like a manifestation board, vision board collage thing. And this is just like cute little things. It still has some vision board things on there like because i want to manifest but i just think it's cute and it's got a little cute little quotes on it little characters and stuff i don't know what i don't know background is still the same it's just a mountain <sighs> i feel like sometimes i like talk to a man and i'm just like girl what why for what reason using this was a smart idea we will be using it again in the future it's so crazy how lazy I used to be about my looks, but like just in general. I definitely still am like that a little bit. Like I'm still just like, oh, that's, I really don't feel like doing that. That's like a lot of work, you know? But now I just, I don't know. I feel better when I look better and when I put a little bit of effort into my still. Like straightening my hair, I used to never really do that because I was like, bro, I literally, like I look so much better with straight hair, but like, first of all, I damaged my hair, yes. But it takes so much time. It took so much time. Before it took a lot longer. A lot longer. Because my hair was so curly. Yeah. I was just like, eh. And then now I'm just like, I'd rather look good. And feel good. Not saying that you have to straighten your hair to do that. Just for me personally. And also like, my eyebrows. I would have never done that. Just everything. Just being a little more put together. Okay. I need to take this off now. It's been five minutes. What we're going to do. We're just going to take a paper towel. Or toilet paper and just wipe it. This is what I like. This is what I like. It's definitely not perfect, but like it just looks a little better, I think. More filled in and darker, right? Like there, it's still sparse. It looks better when I use the pen because last time I did this, it was not even at all. It looks a little funky because my eyebrows are just a little funky, but. Hold on, I'm gonna like wash my face real quick to get the dye like fully out. I don't know why like this part of my eyebrow is so sparse. Okay, I'm kind of liking that. Cause I don't know how I have to like, I don't really feel my eyebrows in to be honest. I used to do it religiously every day. I literally couldn't leave the house unless my eyebrows were filled in. Now I just like literally don't care, but I do think they look better, a little bit darker. I don't have to do anything and they look fine. Just do a little brush. Yeah, I like that. What do we think? Not perfect, but good. All right, I'm gonna go make dinner. What time is it? It's only four o'clock. I literally thought it was like six or 7 p.m. At least five. I'm still gonna make dinner. I'm hungry. Hi. My hair's so like crispy on the ends. I probably need to trim. I got dark chocolate peanut butter cups I'm about to eat. And I'm gonna start this book. So, let's read. It's 8.20 p.m. You can't see that. It's 8.20 p.m. I read literally not even a chapter. I'm on page 15. I think I'm gonna watch a movie. I'm not sure what yet, but I'm kind of feeling Harry Potter. Just a little. So we'll see. And I'm gonna go to sleep. So that's the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed. I'm tired. Good night. Bye.